I should do my normal intro because this is not the normal game we usually play. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome in. If you are new here, my name is Ashley. If you are returning, welcome back, friend. Today, we are playing something new. I know you guys have seen this game circulating all over YouTube. I actually wasn't going to do a video on this, but my girl Shell in the Discord, shout out to Shell. And if you're not in the Discord, girl, what are you doing? You not trying to be friends? Like... <laughs> No, seriously, if you want to add the Discord, it is in the description, no pressure. But like I was saying, my girl Shell in the Discord suggested I do an Enzoi video, so alas, here I am. Okay, so let's go ahead and delve into creating a Zoi. So this is not my first time playing around with this game. I've actually played around with it before recording this. So I know a little something, but I don't know everything. So I guess we are going to be exploring the ins and outs together. So the first thing we need to do is choose a name. Typically when I am creating a character, I like to create the character first before choosing a name. But I guess with Enzoi, we got to work a little bit backwards, which I'm okay with. So we are going to name our Zoi Celine Davin Port. Don't ask me the inspiration. I don't know. It's just the first name that popped up in my head. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and create this zoi oh okay so we are not creating a male we are actually going to create a female zoi does have these different age groups it goes from child and then it does not have a teen feature which i noticed it goes straight to young adults and then adults and they actually have middle age which i find so fascinating and then they have a senior oh she's so cute such an adorable old lady <laughs> So for traits, they have so many traits you can choose from. We have mediator, leader, authoritarian, adventurous, entertainer, collaborator, safety conscious, expert, explorer, individualist, artistic, go-getter, socialite, charmer, volunteer, social activist, perfectionist, dreamer. For the purpose of this video, I am going to choose individualist for us. And then once you choose a trait, it does give you a breakdown of all the ins and outs of the trait that you chose. So it has these keywords, what your character will value, the description of the trait, and also characteristics. So we're gonna go ahead and lock this in. Okay, but we are not creating an elder. We are gonna create a young adult today. So the next thing I love about this game is the studio. You can actually change the background when you are creating a Zoe. I love that. For today's video, I'm actually going to choose this background. And not only that, you can also change the lighting. Like, look at that, y'all. Chow, how crazy is it that we can change the lighting without using a mod? I love this. I can only imagine what the modders are going to come up with. Then we also have different expressions to choose from, which we probably will explore more when we get into photo mode. But for right now, we're just going to keep it neutral. And then we also have different poses. We will also explore this when we get into our photo mode. Okay, so if you are not into creating a full blown Zoe, they do have these Zoe presets you can choose from. I've already been practicing a little bit, so you will see some Zoes that I already created. Like I created this one already. I think she's so cute. Do y'all see her Prada shirt? Don't mind the clipping. I'm still trying to figure this out. <laughs> but y'all know it had to be different. So I added a little logo on her shirt. But yes, you can add all these different Zoe presets. Here's another one that I created. So many different presets to choose from. I'm so amazed by the diversity they have in this game thus far. I can only imagine what's going to happen when they actually do release the full entire game. So you can choose a full Zoe preset if you want to. And I'm gonna let you guys know now to rotate the camera, you have to right click your mouse, hold it down, and then you can turn the camera around. Child, I was struggling when I first started playing this demo. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I can only see the front view. Like, do you know how many times I've created Sims from the front and then turned to the side and they look crazy? But you can alternate the view and do a 360. You just have to hold down your right click and then turn it around. <laughs> Hopefully that helps some of you guys. If you don't want to choose a full Zoe, you can also choose a face preset to start with. I love her face, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you some of the different presets we have. So again, I am loving the diversity of the different Zoe presets. Gosh, she is so gorgeous. Look at her facial features, y'all. Oh, I love it. Just so many different faces to choose from. It's actually insane. And look at how realistic they look. They really did their thing. I can't even lie. So let me just scout around and see what preset we are going to use for the purpose of this video. I'm actually loving her face. 
It's crazy because she's so beautiful and I don't even want to do anything to her face. That's the only thing that, you know, is a struggle with this game is their Zoys look so good already. You don't even have to do much to them. Like, look at this. This is giving Rihanna tease. I'm so overwhelmed. So many different options. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I think I'm going to go with this Zoy. Me personally, I like to operate with a blank canvas. So you can go to makeup and remove all makeup. So we're going to do just that. And I need to remove this hat. So I'm going to go ahead and go to outfit and take this hat off. Perfect. And then the last thing I need to do for a blank canvas is to take this hair off. So I need to see her face. So let's go to hair and they do have a balls hair option. So I'm just going to put that on her so I can see her face. All right, now we can get up in here and start customizing. So all of these different dots are what we would consider sliders in The Sims, right? You can alter their face in so many different ways, as you can see. And not only that, this is the basic edit mode. They do have a more detailed mode where you can literally get up in here and alter absolutely every single detail you need to. I'm not gonna lie, when I first started playing with this game, I'm like, bro, this is so overwhelming. Like I could spend so many hours in cast in The Sims, so you can only imagine, given the options here, how long it's gonna take me to make one character. So, I mean, I guess we can go ahead and get started. I apologize if I'm like quiet at some parts because me personally, when I am creating a character, I like to get in the zone and I get a little quiet because I be so focused. <laughs> I'll add in music in those places where I am quiet so that way you guys won't get bored. And just a disclaimer, this is going to be a lot more chill because obviously we're just creating a character. We're not doing any storytelling. So I hope you guys are ready. All right, let's get into these eyebrows, girl. So I have not worked with this preset yet. This is my first time. So let's see what eyebrows look good on sis. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of them and also the intensity because I need to see them. They're a little bit sparse. OK, I think that looks good. So we can get up in here and see what the eyebrows are giving, girl. Those are cute. I'm not even going to lie to you. Look how ugh, they look so good. I actually really love these eyebrows. I'm gonna keep these for now. If I need to adjust them, I will. One thing you guys will learn about me when it comes to creating a character, I bounce around a lot. So like, our eyebrows can be looking one way right now and then by the end of the video, it's gonna look a completely different way. <laughs> so please bear with me. I think these look good though, I'm not even gonna lie. Let's get up into these sliders and adjust these a little bit. Hold on, let me go back a little bit. Okay, she's not looking too bad. Truthfully, she didn't look bad once we chose her, but like, <laughs> we gotta make her look a little different. Okay, so there's only so much we can do in basic mode. We don't want them too close together. I also don't want her looking too mean. But we do want to arch. Let's see what we can do in detailed edit mode. So you can see now we have way more slider options. So we can lift the brow, we can lower the brow, we can move it to the right, move it to the left. And y'all will see that I will zoom in and out so many times. All right, so for right now, I'm loving her brows. They have like this natural little bushy thing going on, but not too bushy. Yeah, I'm bobbing with it. I guess we can keep that for now. The next thing I'm going to do is change her eye color because the eyes are throwing me a little bit because they look a little bit not real. <laughs> so let's get up in here and change the color. So I'm going to click on irises. And we have so many different options, y'all. But I'm more of a natural girly when it comes to eye color. I don't really care for like contacts. So like these are perfect for me. If you want to go in and customize them even more, you can. And I do want to say that we have a color wheel for literally almost every single feature in this game. It's a little overwhelming. I'm not going to lie. But I think the more you play it, the more you get used to it. So... I think her eyes look good like this, but you can customize the inner iris and also the outer iris. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is the outer iris. How insane is this? You can also adjust this color wheel anywhere you want to on the spectrum and then move this around. So again, like I like a more natural eye, so we're gonna keep it natural. I'm looking for like a deep dark brown. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm feeling it. 
I'm feeling this a lot. All right, we're gonna leave the eyes like this. So the next thing I wanna do is adjust the eyelashes. So we do have five different eyelash options. Yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I am a dramatic lash girly. If you guys watch my sim videos, you know I'm all about the big dramatic eyelashes. <laughs> Anything glitz and glamor, give it to me. So we are gonna go with this one. I love these lashes. And depending on how you adjust the eyes, you can make the eyelashes longer. So if you go into detailed edit mode, let's get up in here. As you can see, the slider, if you move the eye up, the lashes do get a little bit longer, but you do have to be careful because because you're lifting the lid, her eyes are going to be a lot wider than what they were, if that makes sense. So I'm going to actually bring this back down and then we can get up in here and adjust the eye shape the way that we want to. So let's see. I'm just going to play around with these sliders a little bit. And truthfully, I feel like she has such a tiny lid. So I'm going to lift this up just a tad bit because when we start to work on makeup, girl, the lid is very important. OK, let's see. OK, so the lid doesn't look too bad. Maybe I should bring it down a little bit more. I think I brought it up a little bit too much. I'm actually going to go back out and I want to give her like a little eye squint. So I think these sliders are going to adjust her eye squint. Actually, I think it's this top one. Yes, the top one. You bring it down a little bit. It's going to squint her eyes. Look at that, y'all. What? Now she's smiling at us. Hello. <laughs> Okay, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that a lot. So let me go back in detailed edit mode. Y'all know my sim style. I love me a pair of juicy lips. So we gotta make these lips a little bit bigger. So let's lift up the cupid's bow a little bit. Let's bring this up a little bit. Not too much though. I don't want it to look like we got lip injections, if that makes sense. Maybe we can bring this in and then bring this down. Let's see what it's given. Hold on. Bring this down just a smidge. Okay. Let's bring the size down just a tad bit. I think that might be too much. Let me lift it a little bit. And I'm gonna go back in basic edit mode and just maybe adjust the size of the lips. So you can bring them up, down, you can make them wider, you can make them smaller. I love that. All right, y'all, I'm not too mad at her lips. I think they're okay for now. Jow, don't quote me because I'm telling y'all, I bounce back and forth so much. It's not even funny. So the next thing I'm going to do is start working on this jawline. I'm actually not mad at her face. The only thing that kills me about Enzoi is because their presets look so good. You don't even want to do too much to the face. But you also don't want them looking the exact same, right? But child, the face hard. It's given right now. I'm not even going to lie. Do we want to do anything to the ears? So you can adjust the ears. You can adjust the bottom lobe of the ear. You can adjust the middle part of the ear, the top part of the ear. It's actually insane, not gonna lie. Okay, I don't wanna give her like super huge ears, but I don't want them to be super small either. That's not bad. What y'all think? Look at her side profile, stop. This side profile is eating, girl. She's so pretty. We didn't even do anything yet. We didn't add no makeup, nothing. Truthfully, she looks good like this with her big old head. <laughs> okay, do we wanna do anything to the nose? I feel like her nose is so perfect. I feel like this area is reminding me of like Megan Good a little bit. I'm like scared to touch her nose. Mm -mm. It's so much you can do to their face. It's not even funny. Do we want to bring the bridge up a little bit? Let's see what that looks like. Y'all, she's gorgeous. Like, do we want to make her more chocolate? Oh my God, look up. <gasps> She's so gorgeous. She don't even need no makeup or nothing. I can't. They really ate with this color wheel. Stop. Look at all of this. So many different options. Like, it's crazy. So if you don't want to use the color wheel, you also have the option of choosing the already preset skin colors. And I also didn't show you guys, there's different textures. So like, look at this. Look at like the redness in the skin. This one has like freckles. Oh my God, look at this. This one has freckles also. It's crazy. The amount of detail that went into this. But for now, I'm going to choose the one that we already had because that's my favorite at the moment. And let's go ahead and choose a skin color. What y'all think? Should we go with this one? I like it. It's so pretty. <laughs> All right, now that we've chosen our skin color, let's get into these facial details. So there's so many different things you can do with the face to make it more detailed than what it is. I know that's crazy, right? Because her face is already so detailed. You can add a brow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get a little closer. <laughs> Pay attention to this area. So this is no brow crease. And then as you up the scale, look at that. It adds more detail. I think the brow crease looks good. 
you can barely see it from the front but maybe we should keep it at like a 70 i think i'm gonna lower it a little bit more maybe let's do 60 okay i'm feeling that you can also add eye bags. I don't think we're going to do the eye bags. We're just going to leave that at zero. You can add more definition into the cheekbones. Look at that. Insane. Um, I'm just going to lower this and maybe like, let's do 20. I think that looks good. You can also add smile lines. We are not going to do smile lines. Our girl gets Botox regularly, so she doesn't have any. <laughs> you can add a chin cleft. I love the chin cleft option because it gives a more realistic look to your chin. Um, we're not going to keep it at 100. Maybe we can lower it to like... Let's see what 15 looks like. I think 15 is good. Yeah, 15 is decent. Let me zoom out. I'm feeling it. You can also add more definition to the jawline, the lip line. Ooh, hold on. Okay, that might be a little bit too much. Maybe if I lower it a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Uh, she's so gorgeous. You can add more definition to the nose. Maybe, let's see. Maybe we can do... Let's do one like 20. Okay, 20 is decent. Yeah, I like that. And then lastly, my absolute favorite option here is the Skin Glow. It adds more texture to your skin. Look at this. <gasps> Stop it. I mean, she looks like a box of Kentucky Fried Chicken by how oily her skin is. <laughs> but I just love that extra detail. Okay, I mean, she don't need this much Skin Glow, but y'all get the point. We're going to lower this a little bit. Um... 20? Yeah, 20 is good. Okay, now that we got the face and the skin in order, we're gonna hop right into makeup. Now, if y'all didn't know this about me, this is where I come alive at. I am a makeup girly in real life. So all the different options, I was like screaming. Do you hear me? Living for this. Oh my gosh, I can't. So I like this one. I also like this one, but I feel like this is for a more dramatic look. And don't be alarmed, y'all, because we can play around with the colors. So if it looks like a bit much right now, we can tone it down. This one is gorgeous too. I'm seeing the vision, I'm seeing it. I hope y'all can see it too. Just trust the process. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go with my absolute favorite. We can play around with this um, and tone it down a little bit so it doesn't look so like, bam, wow, in your face, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but before we do, I kind of want to do the lips. I'm not gonna lie. There's 11 lip options and I love almost all of them. I love this one. I like this one, this one. And you can also adjust it the way that we adjusted her skin color. Uh, overwhelming y'all this one right here girl if you are a black girly like myself this is probably going to be your favorite because look at the lines of lips it's just perfect perfect chef's kiss like all i did was click on a preset and she's perfect already all we got to do is tone down this little highlighter situation but for the purpose of this video we got to customize her a little bit more <laughs> okay this right here is my second favorite i love the glossy lip and if you do choose like the matte options when you go into the detailed mode you can add a lip gloss and change the intensity so don't feel intimidated if like you get a matte lip and you're not a matte lip girly okay so i'm stuck between this one and is it this one yeah these two i think i might play around with this one first and then if I don't like it, we'll go with the other one. So I think lipstick is actually on the lips. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go for a nude color. I don't know if I want to go for like a pinky nude or like an actual brown nude. For now, we'll just leave it like that. And then for lipstick B, this is obviously the liner. So right now it's like in this reddish tone, which I mean, I'm not mad at. But I want it to be more dark brown. Let me see if I play around with the color wheel a little bit. Okay, so I'm not mad at this little color combo she has going on. Um, I'm just gonna add some gloss on it and see how it looks. Oh yeah. Oh yes, this color combo is eating. Love it. Maybe let's dumb down the gloss just a smidge. And then we can also add wrinkles into her lips. Look at that. The detail. Okay, I'm just gonna bring the wrinkles down just a little. Oh yeah, I love that. And then you can also up the intensity of the lip color if you want to. We are gonna keep it at like, let's see what 70 is given. And then let's zoom out. Yeah, I like that. All right, now we can circle back to highlighter and dumb this down. I told y'all I bounce around so much, it's not even funny. So truthfully, I'm really not mad at how this highlight is looking as far as the color goes. Let me see what happens if we tone it down. All right, let me get up in here and play around with all right let me get up in here and play around with this highlighter color 
because right now it's just too light. All right, I don't think this is bad for right now. Hold on, let me see. Maybe we should do like 50. Does she look like a disco ball, y'all? <laughs> Maybe I should lower it a little bit more. Maybe let's do like a 30. All right, I'm going to keep it like this for now. If I need to adjust it later on, I will. The next thing I want to do is add some blush. So we do have 11 blush options. We do have like regular blush. We also have like blush with some freckles. You can't see the freckles because I think you need to adjust the color a little bit. But you do have those options. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, this blush is gorgeous. And do y'all see that little beauty mark that was added to her face? The blush did add that little detail into her skin and I love it. I'm going to keep it. So we're going to go with this option. And truthfully, I don't really think there's much adjusting we need to do. Maybe like lower the intensity a little bit. No, actually, I'm going to keep it at 50. What happens if we like reduce the gloss and make it more matte? Oh, stop. That is gorgeous. Let's keep it at like maybe a 40. Okay, so I'm going to skip over eyeshadow for now. I don't know if I'm going to actually add eyeshadow, but we are definitely going to add an eyeliner. Let's see what the eyeliner is giving. This is option one. I'm not mad at it. I'm not going to lie. I wish it had more of a wing. This wing is very, very short, but it still looks good though. This one, I'm not too crazy about because it has this like little glitter shadow situation going on, but the wing is great, girl. <laughs> like I would take this without the glitter. I wonder if we can uh, lower the intensity of the glitter and it will disappear. Oh, it did disappear. <gasps> oh my God, uh, that's perfect. And then the upper line and lower line, we can keep that the same. Actually, for the lower line, I feel like I'm going to lower the intensity a little bit because I like a little bit of liner on the lower lash line, but not too intense. I think this is good. Hold on. Can we make the upper line more matte? Because I do see it's at like 50% gloss. Can we bring it down? Oh, girl. Yes. We love a matte eyeliner. Hello. Get into it. <laughs> She's looking so good. What more can we do to her? Okay, let's check out the eyeshadow. I probably won't add eyeshadow. I'm not a very big eyeshadowy girl. And a lot of these eyeshadow options look quite dramatic, not gonna lie. Um, okay. This don't look like it added anything to her lid, but I think it's because the shadow is her complexion. I'm gonna up the intensity just to see what the shadow is giving. Okay, so this looks like a full beat kind of a shadow. <laughs> Let me just play around with it a little bit and just see what it gives, just for the purpose of this video. So eyeshadow A, I just wanna see where it's located. All right, so eyeshadow A is just like literally all over the lid. I don't know if I'm feeling that. Okay, let me bring it back. What about eyeshadow B? Where is that? Eyeshadow B is on the lower lash line. It's quite intense, not gonna lie. Don't know if I'm feeling that. And then eyeshadow C, let's see where that is. Okay, eyeshadow C is actually on the lid. Um, okay, so we're not gonna go with this option. This shadow is quite dramatic. Let's see what the next one gives. Eyeshadow A, it looks like it's under the brow bone. Eyeshadow B on the lower lash line. Eyeshadow C on the lid. Hmm. Honestly, it's not too bad, but like, I don't know. I don't want to be too dramatic. Let's see what this one is about. Eyeshadow A. I can barely see eyeshadow A. Okay, eyeshadow A is directly under the brow bone. Eyeshadow B under the lash line, and then eyeshadow C on the lid. I think I can work with this one because Okay, face is beat, girl. We're just gonna keep it like this. Let's get a good look. Hold on, let me go back to blush. I kind of want to make her beauty mark a little bit more intense than what it's looking like right now. So I'm gonna go to freckles and I'm just gonna up the intensity and I'm actually gonna make it darker. Oh, yes. Hold on, can it go? Okay, there we go. Look, uh, stop, I'm in love. I'm in love with her face. What? I think she's so pretty. Okay, so the last thing we didn't touch on is the hair. Before we even get there, I actually want to add earrings. <laughs> I know I work so backwards compared to other people, but this is just how I operate. So I'm just going to give her a simple, I don't know if I'm going to give her a pearl or a stud. You know what? I'm going to keep the stud. I feel like you can never go wrong with a stud. So we're just going to leave it like this. And now we can go back to face and then go back to hair. Okay, so the hair is where my criticism comes in. There's not very many options, but again, this is just the demo. I'm interested in seeing Enzoi add more ethnic options. But as of right now, I feel like the options are very slim. So I'm excited to see what they come up with when they actually do release the entire game. She looks good with short hair, y'all. I don't know if I want to keep it, though. <laughs> this is one of my favorite hairstyles right here. This one doesn't look too bad. I think if we change the color, it'll look even better. 
this looks good on her. What if we change it to like either brown or black? So here's another thing about Enzoi. Depending on the hairstyle, you can change the different highlight colors. Me, I am a simple girly when it comes to hair. So I'm just going to change all of these to black. If I was feeling really funky, I would have given her a color. But right now, I just want to keep it simple. And then for certain hairstyles, you can also change the length. Like I can make it shorter or I can keep it long, depending on my preference. And again, I don't know if I'm going to keep this hairstyle. It really depends on the outfit. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this body shape. Just like the face, you can adjust literally almost every single thing on her body. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cinch the waist. Maybe we can like make the hips a little bigger. Not too much. The butt slider, <laughs> not the greatest. I feel like this needs some improvement. I think she looks good already. We're going to bring the shoulders down just a little bit. And then hold on, this neck girl. This neck? <laughs> yeah, no. Mm -mm. Let's bring in the neck. <laughs> Okay, you can also up her body weight, lower her body weight, and up her muscle mass and lower it. Okay, I think this is the body shape we're gonna go for. Now for outfits. So you can actually customize an outfit if you want to. That's what I happen to do with one of my Zoys. So you have like different shirt options. So if I wanted to change like the color, I could. So you can do like turtleneck, no turtleneck, v-neck, etc., etc. Do like a color. You can do like short sleeve, mid sleeves. What is this? Three quarter sleeves. <laughs> You can also do the same thing with pants. You can keep them long. You can cuff them. You can make them high water. <laughs> you can make them shorts. I think that is such a great detail added to this game. I love that, especially for those who are like super creative. But for now, we're just going to look at the pre-made outfit. So one thing I mentioned earlier about Enzoi that I love is that you can customize literally everything, even down to the clothes. So like I told you guys earlier, I did add a Prada logo in here. So if I wanted to add this to the shirt, I could. Like, look at that. How freaking cute. What? I did end up saving some more pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and import those now. So I added the Chanel logo. So if I wanted to do something like this, I could. I also added Burberry. Oh, that is gorgeous. Stop. This is so cute on a shirt. What? I love that. Do we want to keep this? All right, let's move on to accessories. Listen, I told y'all I was going to end up changing something. I bounced back and forth so much, it's not even funny. And do I want to give her glasses? Cute. Oh, I love these. These are so cute.
all right girl this is what we working with right now <laughs> i told y'all i'll go back and forth so much this is definitely not the hair we gave her but like is the hair that i feel like works with this outfit i love it you can let me know in the comments down below what you think we can go ahead and start taking pictures of our soy ah, she looks so good what y'all think hold on let's get up in here look at this face car girl she's so pretty i can't gorgeous y'all please don't mind my singing i was singing throughout the entire time taking pictures <laughs> i was having too much fun truthfully i probably cut most of it out anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here i had a lot of fun just laying back chilling creating a zoi and hopefully you enjoyed it as well for those who are curious i did upload celine to canvas so if you want to save her download her feel free my canvas is the same as my youtube handle vibe with ashley underscore so if y'all want to meet me over there and show me your zoys by all means don't be shy anyways i love 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 each and every one of you guys and i will see you in the next one bye y'all